RPMS was designed with the intent of improving picture quality. It aims to align performance targets and accomplishments with the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers or PPST. Teachers are provided with the key result areas or CRA, which are the general outputs or outcomes that are expected of them. In this video, I will discuss to you about the Lipid Memorandum Number 8, Series of 2023, or the Multi-Year Guidelines and Result-Based Performance Management System, PPSC, or Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers. It's a multi-year push because this consists of three uh, school years. From last school year 2020 to 2023, then our current school year now, which is 2023-2024, and next school year, which is 2024-2025. Ito po yung cover nitong DepEd ng Random Number 8, Series of 2023. So, but before we proceed, okay, again, I am your... I am Teacher Eugene. Can you click like first in this video and subscribe if you haven't yet? All right, so our agenda, our PMS DPSC guidelines for school year 2023-2024. So our focus in this video is our current school year today or now. Okay. So here are our activities of the three of the different phases for our PMS cycle phase. Under phase one, which is performance planning and commitment, our activity first is discussion of our PMS or PPS tools. Sino yung responsible person nito, yung ating rater, okay, your master teacher or school head. Okay. Then, yung tool na gagamitin, of course, ay yung RPMS manual for teachers and school heads. This is usually uh, then the month before the start of classes. So, I hope that your readers have conducted already this uh, one of the activities under phase one. And, of course, okay, our task as a rate naman. Okay, we are going to have our self-assessment with initial individual development planning. Ano yung gamit natin dito or yung gagamitin natin um, reference, of course, yung ISAT natin, yung self-assessment tool. And then yung IPCRF review form part 4, yung individual development plan. So doon makikita natin yung ating strength and weakness. Okay, so yun yung babasahan natin okay, kung ano yung maging focus natin in this school year to on how to improve those weaknesses that we have last school year. Ayan. Yung usual, uh, yung schedule nito ay yung timeline, first and second month of the first quarter. Okay. Next, under phase 2, performance monitoring and coaching. Our activity first is the classroom observation. So, I believe, okay, karamihan sa atin ay nag-undergo na ng ating classroom observation 1, di ba? Okay, yung iba mag-COT mag pa lang. Okay, so yung iba naman, okay, if you are uh, planning to have a COT or to have a quality uh, material for COT, okay, available po yung ating materials in my channel. Okay, or you can message me on my FB. Ayan, yung task natin or yung task or activity, class observation, of course, yung gagamitin natin yung ating COT forms. And don't forget, of course, your uh, lesson plan, okay, your IMs, etc. Then, persons responsible, the RITs, and rate, your writer, of course, yung master teacher or yung school head ninyo. Schedule within the school year. Okay, again, yung ating custom observation yung school year okay, ay apat po. So, every quarter. So, there should have one uh, COT every quarter. Yan. Okay, next activity is the accomplishment of PMCF. Yan. So, of course, after okay, ng ating custom observation for uh, yung mga teachers, okay, bibigyan tayo ng TA okay, ng ating raters Okay, from the COT that we have had. So, yung gamit na, yung tool na gagamitin nila ng ating raters ay yung performance monitoring coaching form. Yes, so, actually, ito, yung, ito talaga yung ginagamit ko. I am a, a reader of my department, MAPI department, because I am the department head, master teacher too. So, ito yung ginagamit ko to have the technical assistance to discuss, okay, the, the um, 
yung naganap na custom observation ng ating ng ating teachers. Yeah. Okay, so this is done at least once every quarter. Yes, so after, pag, pagkatapos lang ng um, COT, of course, the technical assistance follow okay, through the list of this PMCF. Yeah. Next activity is media review and assessment and revisiting the individual development plans. Okay, yung tools na gagamitin natin, okay, yung draft IPSR of DP mo, at saka yung PMCF na ginawa namin no, as a return okay, through the technical assistance. Okay, within the 56th, okay, ayan. Next, phase 3, performance review and evaluation. Si yung task or activity natin, performance assessment of teachers. Ano yung tool? IPSRF or Teachers Portfolio. Okay, yes. O, diba? So, syempre, um, pagkatapos ng lahat ng COT na, uh, na ginawa mo within the entire year, so makakapangalap ka na ng iyong mga MOVs, okay, if it is observable and um, objective, and then if not, non-observable objectives, of course, you have to uh, work on it also para sa iyong portfolio. Yeah. Person responsible, raters, ratees, and approving authorities schedule at least a week after scheduled graduation. Yeah. So, probably, I guess, yung ating graduation ngayon is June, June, di ba? Okay, so, my first week, okay, ng June, dapat meron ko ng teacher's portfolio. Yon, or last week, even last week of May pa lang. Okay, if you are so much ready already on your uh, portfolio, then you can submit it okay, ahead of time. Yes, and speaking of teacher's portfolio, okay, may mga tingkit din ako every year na ipinamamahagi sa ating mga koro all over the Philippines. So, um, feel free to message me lang po. Yon. Phase 4. Performance, Rewarding, and Development Planning. Okay, yung activity natin dito, Finalization of Individual Development Plans. Okay, yung tool na, gag na gamit, of course, yung IPSRF, IDP, Responsible Persons, yung ratings, kayo. Okay, and then at least a week after schedule graduation. Then, Submission of IPSRF to Readers. Okay, and IPCRF data collection to school's division office. This is accomplished IPCRF with complete signatures. Ito yung ating uh, tool o ipapasa, yung accomplished na. I com accomplished IPCRF with complete signatures, both the retail, the retailers, and yung approving authority. Yun. Okay, person responsible, so of course, the retail and then the retailers, and then schedule at last a month after graduation. Okay, see you in po. Okay, yung ating timeline. So again, this is for the 2023-2024. There are four classroom observations which are required okay, for us or for you teachers with six indicators. Okay, from uh, these six indicators, okay, anjan yung indicator one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, for um, quarter 1 and quarter 3 and uh, indicator 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9 for quarter 2 and 4. Yes. And while for higher profession teachers, there are only 5 okay, indicators which are to be observed during your classroom observation. So let's proceed. Okay. So, ano-ano to ulit yun? Ito na po yung ating detailed na classroom indicators or classroom observable indicators key per quarter. Okay. Yung green, by the way, yung highlighted with green, key ito yung um, para sa ating mga proficient teachers or teachers 1 to 3. Then, Yung naka-blue naman, ito yung para sa ating mga highly profession or master teachers. Okay, so, ako as master teachers, ito yung ano ko, um, basihan ko, 
Okay, dito ako naka ano, base ng ating ng ating mga gagawin activities for, for our lesson plan. So again, yung lesson plan pala ninyo dapat kay indicated na or annotated kung ano um indicator okay, yung focus ng iyong activity on your lesson plan. Okay. Let's proceed. Okay, for the profession teachers, Ayan, yung indicator 1, observable siya sa first and third quarter. Okay, objective 1, applied knowledge of content to within the course curriculum teaching areas. So, for your reference, you can go to a resource package of the PPST, which is the module 1 or 112. Ayan, so, uh, marami kayo makukuha doon na example. Okay, all illustrations of practice where you can use as reference in making or in crafting your DLP. Yeah. One for master teacher still crowd one also objective one model effective applications of content knowledge within the course curriculum teaching areas. Resource package one one three. Another custom observable indicators. Okay, for first quarter and third quarter, for profession teacher, we have CROW 1, Objective 2, used a range of teaching strategies that enhance learner achievement and literacy and numeracy skills. Okay, this is okay, under resource package 1 or 2, okay, from the PBS team. And for master teacher, the follow up with applied effective teaching strategies to promote critical and creative thinking as well as other higher order thinking skills. Okay, your um, reference of this is the resource package 153 okay, of the PPST. Next, another class of observable indicators is indicator number 3 or CROW 1 objective 3. Applied a range of teaching strategies to develop critical and creative thinking as well as high as other higher order thinking skills. Okay, so for profession teachers. Okay, for master teacher. Okay. Yung class of observable indicator number three niya ay yung CRA to objective four naman which is modeled and supported colleagues and professional to use in mother tongue, Filipino and English to improve teaching and learning, as well as to develop the learner's pride of their language, heritage, and culture. PPSD Package 163. This is the classroom observable indicator number 4, okay, or the CRA 1 Objective 4 for professional teachers, which displayed professional to use in mother tongue. Filipino and English to facilitate teaching and learning. This is under research package PPSD 162. Okay, for master teacher, okay, grad to objective 5, young classroom observable indicator number 4. Yeah, exhibited effective strategies that ensure safe and secure learning environments to enhance learning through the consistent implementation of policies, guidelines, and procedures. Yeah. Okay. Then, in classroom observable indicator number five, established safe and secure learning environments to enhance learning through the consistent implementation of policies, guidelines, and procedures. PPSD package 212. Okay, for master teacher, yung classroom observable indicator number five niya is under CRAT to objective six or exhibit effective practices to foster learning environments that promote fairness respect and care to encourage learning. Okay, this is under PPSC package 223. And the observable indicator K4 okay, profession teacher okay, is the craft to objective six or maintain learning environment that promotes fairness, respect and care to encourage learner. Okay, your PPSC package niya I 2.2.2. Yes, yeah, so these are the plus and observable indicators for quarter one and three, both for profession and how the profession teachers. So let's continue with quarter two and four. 
sa agad kanina yung part ay yung fashion which will indicators 1, 2, 3 okay ano siya lahat ng quarter observable siya for profession teachers while for master teachers 1 and 2 lahat ng uh, quarter pasok siya okay magkakaiba na lang dito na sa quarter 2 and 4 and here is the classroom observable indicator Quarter 2 and Yeah, so same siya kanina. Sad, by hands. Yeah, so let's move on to class of observable indicator number 7 for profession teachers. Okay, yung CRAT 2 objective 7 niya, establish a learner-centered culture by using teaching strategies that respond to their linguistic, cultural, socioeconomic, and religious backgrounds. This is under resource package 322. Okay, while for um, master teacher, CRAT 2 objective 7, yung COI6 niya exhibited learner-centered culture that promotes success by using yeah. effective teaching strategies that respond to their linguistic, cultural, socioeconomic, and religious backgrounds. Is classroom observable indicator number eight for profession teachers and COI7 for highly professional Hi, culture. Yeah. yeah. So, for profession teachers, Craft to Objective 8 adopted and used culturally appropriate teaching strategies to address the needs of learners from indigenous groups. Okay, same, same with highly profession, but for highly professional groups, for master teachers developed and applied teaching strategies to address effectively the needs of learners from indigenous groups. And our last classroom material indicators for quarter 2 and quarter 4 for profession teacher craft 3 objective 10 use strategies for providing timely accurate and constructive feedback to improve learner performance resource package 532 and for profession high profession teacher craft 4 objective 10 this is under craft 4 objective 10 use effective strategies for providing timely accurate and constructive feedback to encourage learners to reflect and improve their own learning so same shots are profession teachers but of course for um and profession dynamic yung effective strategies that provides time so kasi siya mod model siya of course at mga profession teachers ayon so take note the average rating in the classroom observations then across quarters shall constitute the final rating for each classroom observable and observable indicators all classroom observations for performance evaluation shall be scheduled in advance good luck teacher okay thank you if you think this really helps you click like subscribe and comment if you haven't yet